Here's what a 12-hour travel day looks like living in a van with two cats. We're two days into a 30-hour trip across the country and today we woke up in a Cracker Barrel parking lot with all but one of our window covers up. After interrogating the suspects, it was time to brush our teeth, use the potty, and hydrate. Sasha gets some energy out with her laser and then practices her tricks. Lula gets treats for doing absolutely nothing because she's perfect. Sasha is obsessed with her bag, so she'll usually ride in that for a bit before joining Seth in the passenger seat while Lula joins me as the driver. A few hours in, it's time to stretch at a rest stop, use the bathroom again, and make a cup of coffee. Sasha settles in to help Seth edit while Lula and I put in another driving shift. We found a really pretty spot on this lake to camp for the night, but it was way too hot to stop, so we kept driving until the sun set. In our first year of van life, we avoided Walmarts at all costs, but now we embrace them with open arms. Especially after a long day of driving, it's so nice to be able to just pull in, put our window covers up, and go inside to grab dinner. The ladies get some energy out before bed, but by 11, it's time to say goodnight and rest up for a new day.